When I was a child, I had no idea that people lived in big cities. I thought they were just where people worked and people attended professional sporting events and that they were just empty at night. What's a real thing that you always thought was fake when you were younger? I used to think people only died if they were murdered slash did it themselves. I was 7 maybe 8 when I found out one day my grandparents would die of old age and I cried for a long time bc I thought people just lived forever until they got murdered. Hippos being dangerous. There's a ride at Disneyland called the Jungle Cruise where you go through jungle scenes in a boat and the skipper tells jokes about the audio animatronic animals. In the bit with the hippos. They'll say the hippos are going to rush the boat and then shoot a cap gun to scare them off. As a kid I thought this was another joke, because obviously hippos can't hurt you, right? I was in my 20s before I found out the truth, which is that hippos will peep you up. So when I was 8 my dad and I watched Star Trek 4th, The Voyage Home. I didn't really get the time travel part of the plot. So I spent many years convinced that humpback whales were extinct. Electrolytes. I thought that they were made up by sports, drink companies to sell more drinks. That snowflakes actually look the way they are portrayed. I grew up in a temperate area with no snow and just kind of assumed that snowflakes were just balls of frozen water and the intricate designs were just artistic interpretation. Like stars don't really have 5 points. It wasn't until I moved to the east coast for college and a snowflake landed on me and I got to look at it up close that I realized each snowflake was actually beautiful and unique. If you are enjoying this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up button to support this channel. I don't know if this counts, but I always thought that O'Reilly's Auto Parts was a restaurant. I'd beg my dad to eat there. He eventually caved and took me to the auto store and I told him that he warned them that I was coming and had them change the whole restaurant to an auto parts store just to mess with me. I thought measles and mumps were made up diseases when I was younger. I had never heard of anyone that had them. My sole knowledge of them was from the Shel Silverstein poem I have the measles and the mumps, a gash, a rash and purple bumps. I'm from Norway and someone convinced me that the indigenous people from the northern parts, called Sami were a mythological people. It took years and a Sami classmate for me to realize they are real. I saw so many fake palm trees as a kid growing up in New England. Now I go to school in California and I still catch myself assuming the palms are fake. Edit. Didn't mean to be so misleading. There is not a bounty of fake palm trees hidden around New England. But, growing up I used to see fake ones placed in thematic places like amusement parks and restaurants. So when I found out about Father Christmas I thought that meant reindeer weren't real. It was only when I thought my boyfriend was taking the mick at the zoo saying, let's go and see the reindeer, that I found out the real truth. Not me. But my roommate thought turnips were a fictional vegetable until college. He kept looking for them, but they'd never turn up. Puffins. I thought they were fictional until I went to Iceland and was pleasantly surprised. When I was a child, I had no idea that people lived in big cities. I thought they were just where people worked and people attended professional sporting events and that they were just empty at night. Not me, but my grandmother, when I was younger and desperately wanted to be a paleontologist, she always looked at me like she thought I was nuts. A couple of years ago, it turned out that she thought dinosaurs weren't real, and were something that were made up for TV shows, like that Pokemon thing. Not me and I'm probably late to this, but I moved to Key West, and am now dating a girl who grew up there. For those not familiar. Key West is a 6 square mile island 90 miles south of Miami, so agriculture is literally non-existent there. She told me a story about her younger brother, who when he was about 5 to 6 years old went on a road trip up to Orlando with the family. 
they passed a field, and he was looking out the window, and saw a field full of looks up at his mom, and in disbelief, says cows are evil. He legit though cows were like unicorns, made up creatures. Sonic. The fast food restaurant. My reasoning was that I had never seen one around where I live, and the background of the commercials weren't recognizable areas. I was stupid as hell. Totally thought Transylvania was a made up place for years. Vampires are pretend. And they come from Transylvania. So it was logical that the place they came from wasn't real. Pirates. I literally thought that they were fictional beings until I was around 22. 7 slash 11 s specifically. I grew up slash lived in a rural area and went into cities very rarely. I think in the 90s slash 00s there were Simpsons promotions that linked with 7 over 11. So I thought they were only a chain in the show. Van Gogh cutting off his ear. I thought that was an urban legend like George Washington chopping down the cherry tree before I saw it at Eternity's Gate at age 41. Even then, I was skeptical until I read it was true in the reviews. I grew up in Los Angeles, so I went to Disneyland once or twice a year throughout my childhood. When I visited the East Coast for the first time, I discovered that fireflies are real. I was shocked. I thought they were some magical insect that Walt Disney dreamed up, as he had fake ones twinkling in the trees in Disneyland. Pittsburgh. My dad would say it, and I'd laugh my ass off thinking of a town named after armpits. I always thought it was a fake place. Bounty Hunters. I thought they were made up for Star Wars and Cowboy Bebop. Only just learned today that they actually exist. When I was a small child I thought kings, queens, etc. didn't actually exist and were made up for fairy tales because you know, dragons and magic and stuff like that was made up. Surely all the other things must have been, too. Imagine my shock when I was 4 or 5 and I learned that all those are evil. Although my child self still had very inaccurate ideas about royalty. Other religions. I was very sheltered and thought everyone was Christian. Because duh. People with bad intentions. In my 6 year old mind I always thought that TV shows were just dramatizing stuff with all their antagonists and whatnot. And that these antagonists didn't exist in our world. Maybe it's because I was surrounded by kind, down to earth people. It changed pretty quick as I got older though. The streets always being wet at night time in movies. Being from as I always thought that was bullspeep. I used to think why are the streets always wet like it had just rained in movies. Streets are always dry as peep at night then I went on a trip to MO when I was older and the streets were wet there at night. And I was thinking wow just like in the movies. My boyfriend from UK thought polygraphs were fake until I from USA mentioned that our police use them in criminal investigations. He literally was like lie detector tests are real? And it's legal? That was the day I learned that they are mainly only used in the US. That the Bible was written in other languages. When I was younger I thought the Bible was written in English because everyone in the world speaks English. When my Sunday school teacher told us that it was originally written in several languages ranging from Greek to Hebrew to Aramaic, it blew my mind, and I thought she was making it up. Indiana. I don't know why. Just thought it was a mythical place. I didn't know Bohemian Rhapsody was a real song until I was about 12. I would always hear my dad singing it and just thought it was just nonsense words that he'd made up and never questioned it. My dad played songs like Chattanooga Choo Choo and I've Got a Gal and Kalamazoo. I thought Chattanooga and Kalamazoo were made up places. The entire state of Texas. Since Sandy was from there on SpongeBob. Younger me assumed it couldn't be real because cartoon fake. 
It took me until I was about 8 and a kid transferred from our school from Dallas. I thought he was lying when he said he was from Texas and secretly laughed at him for trying to impress the class with lies. I promise I'm smarter now. When we were little, my mom would sometimes sing Hooked on a Feeling by Blue Swede, and we all thought she made it up, because she mostly sang the chanting part at the beginning. Me and my siblings were amazed when Guardians of the Galaxy came out, and we heard the soundtrack, and realized it was real. Cast Stackers. I saw one in Thunderbird's Kid Sci-Fi Show. If you're not familiar and thought it was a made-up futuristic concept like everything else in the show. Instead of searching a multi-story car park for a space, as I had always seen in real life, the character left his car at the entrance where a machine scooped it up and lifted it up through the huge structure and placed it on a vacant shelf. To me, aged about 12, I thought this was clever but fantastical thinking by the show's designers. Turns out similar systems have existed since the 1960s, just not in my city. Probably till I was about 7. I thought Australia didn't exist cause on TV is, was always this dry desert with no trees. I live in Australia. Edit. 6 is probably more correct. I remember not knowing I lived in Australia throughout kindergarten. Didn't really talk to anyone about what country you live in. Axolotls. Tumbleweeds. And cloudberries. I found out about the tumbleweeds and axolotls on the same day, and got real scared about jackalopes, but it turns out they are actually fake, so I was only a moron. <coughs> parents who love their children. Thought it was just on TV and that all my friends' parents were just pretending to be happy, because I was a guest in their house, and would drop the act as soon as I left. I get that it's real now, but it's still unnerving and uncomfortable to talk to my coworkers with kids slash grandkids, and hear them say how much they love them, missed them when they grew up and moved out, that they talk all the time, can't wait to see them for the holidays, etc. Edit. Still kinda new to using Reddit as opposed to lurking occasionally. Hope it not bad etiquette, to say thank you for the silver. I'm glad and sad at the same time, that this resonated with so many people. Thank you all for sharing your experiences, and I hope everyone has a safe and happy holiday. Not me but my younger sister thought the CDC was a fictional organization. She had watched an episode where the characters from The Walking Dead had to take refuge in one of their headquarters I think. When I mentioned the CDC again years later in one of our conversations she was like you know that's not a real thing right. I had the opposite. I thought jackalopes the rabbit with antlers were real until I was 19 years old. I just thought they were native to New Mexico slash A-R-I-Z-O-N-A or something. They seemed like such a real animal. Who thought a cool mythical animal to create is a rabbit with antlers? You have total freedom to make up whatever you want and you choose that. <coughs> that paying with credit cards actually used real money just like when using cash. Shack is pizza. I always saw it in movies and assumed it was like the 555 number thing. That is until I was 25 and drove past one with my now wife and was like what the f peep they are real? I then had to explain that I always thought they were just in movies while she stared at me like I was an idiot. <coughs> the show My Mother the Car. My relatives always talked about it being one of the worst TV shows ever made. However, I thought they were making it up, the description, made it hard for me to believe a show this stupid was actually made, until I found an episode on Hulu a couple years ago. I didn't need to watch more than a few minutes of a single episode of the show to conclude that it was indeed both an actual show, and one of the worst shows ever made. <coughs> Naughty Pine paneling in our parents' bedroom. They pronounced it Naughty Pine. My brother and I thought it was fake bedroom paneling but proved to be real wood. I didn't know that there was an actual bird called the blue-footed booby. I thought it was just an animal like a unicorn or jackalope that were just made up. It wasn't until an episode of Real or Fake on Bill Channel that I figured out it was real. 
My husband still makes fun of me for this, but I31 had just recently found out the narwhal and the platypus are real animals. I had never seen a video of a live one, until Facebook showed me a baby platypus playing in the water. I had made the comment, that I thought it was mythological like the unicorn or narwhal. And then he made me watch a few Blue Planet episodes. Narwhals. I thought they were like sea unicorns, so they must be imaginary, right? Nope. 